Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting chess game of Bobby Fischer. And this game was played in 1970 when Bobby Fischer was at his peak as a chess player. This game was played in Seagate. And let's check out how this game went on. Bobby Fischer has the white pieces and his opponent who is playing with the black pieces is Helder Kamara. Fischer starts the game with playing e4, the Sicilian defense, knight to f3, d6, d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, g6. This is the dragon variation, the famous dragon variation, bishop to e3, bishop to g7, f3, knight to c6, queen to d2, bishop to d7, bishop to c4, Rook to c8, bishop to b3, queen to a5, and Bobby Fischer castled from the queen side, knight to e5, h4 and then knight to c4. The knight is dangerous, so Bobby Fischer is getting rid of the knight. Knight to b3, defending the queen, and dangerously lining the rook and the queen with the king. Fischer played bishop to d4, bishop to c6. E5. Well, in this position, Kamara captured the pawn. And then, bishop takes on e5 by Bobby Fischer and offering the bishop, but we have queen to c8. Of course, not capturing the bishop because of the obvious reason. After bishop takes on e5, if capturing the bishop, then queen to d8. Checkmate. Black is getting checkmated and there is no defense. Let's get back to the real game. So in this position, after bishop takes on e5, we have queen to c8, and then queen to e2 by Fischer, attacking the rook, defending, with going back, defending with the queen. Rook to b4 is out of questions, because of why. Can you see why? Because of bishop to d6, with a double threat, and at the same time, Threatening checkmate. There is no defense. There is no sensible defense for black. Let's get back to the real game once again. After queen to e2, we have bishop to d7, defending the rook. This is the most entertaining and the most exciting, the key moment of this chess game. What would you do in this position? Are you ready? Well, Bobby Fischer played. Rook takes on d7 by Bobby Fischer. What a move. What a sharp attacking move by Bobby Fischer. And black captured back with the king. Let's check out the other possibilities. If capturing back with the knight, then bishop takes on g7 and black is losing. And if queen takes on d7, then queen takes on c4. And once again, black is losing. Deflecting the queen and capturing the rook. So in the real game, Bobby Fischer kept his eyes on the bishop with his sharp eyes and Bobby Fischer played. Rook takes on d7. What a move. Sacrificing the exchange and king takes on d7. Knight to b5. Rook to d1 is next. And in this position, Helder Kamara played. Queen to c6. Fischer played rook to d1, this is check, king to e8, and then knight to c7 by Bobby Fischer, and black is losing the queen, but let's take it back. After knight to c7, what happens if moving the king, then rook to d8? There is a back rank issue for black, defending with the knight, or with the queen, it doesn't matter, then rook takes on e8, that's check, only defense. And then bishop takes on g7, check. King takes on g7, knight takes on e8, check. Rook takes on e8, and queen takes on c4. Black is losing. I think it is useless to say black is losing. It is very obvious. Let's get back to the real game. So after knight to c7, well, let me show you one more thing. In this position, if king to c8, then knight takes on a7, forking the king and the queen. So this is why we have king to e8, and then knight to c7, and losing the queen. 
because of the obvious reason. After Bishop takes on c7, Kamara captured back with the rook. Bobby Fischer played the move and Kamara resigned. Of course, Fischer has the queen. Queen to b5 by Bobby Fischer and Helder Kamara resigned. Because Bobby Fischer has the queen and in this position, black is going to lose even more material. And let me show you the possible continuation. Of course, you can't move the king because of rook to d8 threat. So blocking with the knight. And then knight to c5. The knight is pinned. Triple attack to the knight. Attacking the knight for three times. a6 attacking the queen. Queen to d3. And this is all over for black. If capturing the knight with the knight, then queen to d8. Checkmate. If capturing the knight with the rook, then queen takes knight, and then checkmate. Black is losing. So queen to b5 was the final move of this chess game. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and bye bye.